Yo, what's good guys? Cody Flom here. We out here at the Vault Pro Scooters. I'm about to film my first custom build. So let's get inside, pick out the parts, and we we'll get it done. So of course, I'm gonna have to put on my Lucky Scooters SIG deck, and of course my wheels. Pick those out from the back. Uh, got the boys here. It's good to see you. Hi. 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 I've never met him before. Uh, his name's... I don't know your name again? Paul. Yeah. So me and my guy Paul, we just met just like two seconds ago. So let's get the parts. All right, bars are here. I'm gonna actually wait to pick out the bars. I'm gonna start with something you probably don't think I'm gonna start with, which is grip tape. <sighs> this is gonna have to do it. <laughs> I don't know, I really like white grip tape right now. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I have it on my skeeter, so this is gonna work sick. Guess we're good with the clamps because we're right here. These are all lucky clamps, which fits me perfect because you know, my sponsor's Lucky Scooters. Comment down below what color I should get. Are right, you commented? All right, sorry, it doesn't matter because can't see the comment. <laughs> I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna do a black double clamp right now. Black Lucky Scooters double clamp. And uh, next one, we'll go to the headsets. We're doing all the small parts first, getting this over with. I'm going basic. I'm sorry for all the haters, but I'm getting FSA headset. <laughs> for me, my preference with grips is like thin and long. These actually look all right. I'm gonna do these. These are Odyssey grips. I don't know if I've seen these before, but they look really like comfortable, pretty thin and pretty long, like longer than regular ODI grips. So we're gonna cop them, see how they look on the scoot. Currently, we just got black and white parts, pretty basic. Uh, moving on, we get the fork since it's right around the corner. Ooh, I like the Apex forks. They're pretty nice. So we got two designs with the, let me set this down. Two designs with the Apex forks, one with like the little three holes in it. Those are looking cool. I like that. And then regular, just basic style. I'm going with the three holes because why not? Blue would be too much blue if I did that, so black. Um, I'm gonna set those there for now. We'll move over here. Oh, look at this wall of wheels. Already picked them out. Oh, how does this work? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? I can't get it off. I have a better idea, just take the whole, no, I can't do that. Stand by, this might take a while. Okay, this is scary. I'm afraid I'm gonna like break it or something. Oh, there we go, I got it. My SIG wheels looking pretty fresh. Really happy with uh, how they turned out. And Big thanks to Lucky. Lucky Skeeters for making this happen. Deck and bars. The two main parts. Let's go over here. My deck, my beauty. Oh, okay, it's right here. Is this it? Yeah, this is my deck. So uh, my SIG deck, of course, blue, matches my wheels, pretty nice. The set, uh, I'll just carry this. And then my bars, I actually picked these out beforehand. So I'm gonna go, they're up in the front. Um, I really am digging the color. Like, all, obviously all the parts I've chosen are just like black, white, and of course blue. So I'm gonna kind of mix it up a little bit. I think it'll look pretty dope. The Apex bars, um, they're gray. They're pretty, pretty nice. TBH, oh gosh. I don't know, I just like, it's just such a simple color. I feel like it'll combat the blue deck and wheels just like super perfect. So I'm just gonna grab my parts real quick. I'm gonna see what the guys up there think of it. Uh, think of like, you know, my color scheme and all that stuff. Hey fam, Paul, Paul, right? No, Paul? Yeah, Paul, was that what, okay. Paul, what, what do you think of this color scheme? We got blue wheels, black. These are all black, this is just a headset. You, have you heard of that before? Uh, have you heard of it? Roller blades? Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then of course my deck, let me grab it real quick. Is it all right? I'm digging it. Do I, I got the Paul and everyone else approval? Yeah. All right, good. Sweet. Sick. All right, let's put this together. <laughs> oh, the custom build. Oh yeah. Hey, what's good guys? Got all the parts situated. You already saw me picking them out. Pretty hyped on everything. Got the Apex bull bars in gray, looking real snazzy. Of course, the Odyssey black grips. Um, comes with the bar ends, that's helpful. My signature Lucky Scooter wheels, pretty hyped on these. Love them so so far. Um, and then of course, Lucky Scooter's clamp. Nice little Lucky logo on the back. Pretty dope. Uh, Apex fork, FSA headset, and then tilt grip tape. And my signature scooter deck, which actually comes with grip tape, but I'm just gonna throw on the tilt grip tape since uh, it's just gonna spice it up a little bit, make it look pretty dope. So uh, for now, this is gonna go to the side. Okay, all right, let's get this started. Uh, I need tools. I'm sorry in advance to anyone that's gonna hate me, but I'm not gonna use a top cap. Uh, I'm not about that. It's just too much weight, dude. Weighs way too much. So we got the headset all situated. Where is the rest? Where's the HIC kit? Where, oh, don't they install the HIC kit? Okay, stand by. We gotta get the HIC kit. I didn't grab it. I forgot it. You're up. BRB. <laughs> you know, just out here in the scurrying world, we just kind of tend to forget things because... 
I just really, I'm bad at improv. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm gonna chuck the grip grips on the bars. Uh, most people, normal human beings, would use a uh, air compressor, but that's not necessary. It just takes a lot of willpower and determination. It'll work. Maybe a couple blisters will come from it, but hey, it's, oh my gosh, that was fast. Okay, so we got the HSE kit. <laughs> All right, sick. I also came through with the HSC kit. I'm gonna come back to the grips, even though it's like halfway on. A little bar extension there. Um, get the forks on, gonna make it look all good. Bam. I like my headset tight. Um, I'm, I, I don't know. I've met a lot of people, like they pick up my scooter, I'm like, dude, they're like, dude, what the heck? Like, loosen your headset or like, get some grease. I'm like, uh, no. TBH, the brake is the most annoying thing to put on for me, cause it has this little like, plastic buffer thing to make sure it sounds good. But it's hard to make it, sh make sure it like stays there when you put it on. So bear with me. Hopefully this doesn't take forever. It's already crooked. Ooh, yes. I think these are four millimeter bolts for the brake, which usually standard, which comes on uh, brakes are like three mil. So it's like less prone to uh, stripping because that's the main issue. Because since they're so small, when you like really rip on it to tighten it, it kind of strips it, but bigger bolt makes it Stronger and better. I promise this will probably take the longest out of everything, minus the grip tape. I'm gonna guess the grip tape's gonna take kind of a while. Starting to look like a scooter, maybe a little bit. I feel like I should have done the grip tape before the, the break, so I'm gonna do it now. My preference for grip tape is to not have it at the end, so it's just literally a square, like a rectangle, I mean. Crease it, and then that's where I know where to cut. The reason I do it like this is because it leaves some blue showing. Shows you what the top of the deck looks like. Right there. And I think one of the hardest things for me is cutting out this brake bolt, the brake bolt. So what I do, it's this crazy thing. I don't cut them out. So if you want to tighten your brake, you have to not tighten it. <laughs> Crease this end, make it all perfect. It's not gonna be perfect because I'm human, guys. Imagine if I cut it too short. Oh, it's perfect. Yes. These guys are telling me I'm not good at building a scooter. I'm, can you stop? If I make this bottle flip, you owe me. Wow. You owe me some grips, because I need to get new grips. Deal. Yeah. <laughs> are you sick? We out here, got new grips. Odyssey, black. <laughs> I have no room for mistakes, so like, I can't make any. I already made a mistake. <laughs> See how it's like crooked, but like it's fine because I'm gonna cut out and that much is gonna be showing anyway. But now I just realize. <laughs> Do you see the lines crooked? <laughs> I didn't think about that at all. I was thinking of just, so it's just personality. This is what's going into this scooter right now. It's just personality. I think the next thing we're gonna do is check on the wheels, gonna make it, come together and then after that, actually get the bars on and it's gonna be a scooter. Oh gosh, I thought it wasn't gonna fit for a second. Usually when I put on wheels, I already have the bars on and it's like, I can sit down. So I'm not used to doing this on a table. Cause TBH, I don't have a table in my garage. I literally just do things on my lap or on the floor. It shouldn't be this hard. Why is this giving me a hard time? Mm, that hurt. Oh, didn't need it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, get some fan interaction right now. You guys need to comment down below. For you, when you put a scooter together, do you prefer to ha like build it like on the floor, on your lap, just with all your parts spread out, or like really nice on a table like this? I thought I didn't have a preference because I never have actually built a scooter on a table before, but now that I'm doing it, I realize I like to do it on my lap and with all my parts on the floor. So comment down below. I wanna see, you know, what you guys' response is. Next hard step is uh, the grips. I already started halfway through them. I don't think I've ever actually put on grips with an air compressor. See, for me, I've been doing this for like 20 years now. It's become such a second nature. We'll do the other one with an air compressor. <laughs> uh, this will be a first time for me for putting on grips with an air compressor. Put it in barely? I understand. <laughs> oh, it went the wrong way. There, it's perfect. Teamwork. Hopefully the, doesn't, the barns don't add too much weight, guys. Honestly, that might be too much.
much weight. I'm gonna have to take them out. Like this video if you're a weight freak. I guess I kind of am a weight freak. It's because I ride titanium. Everyone picks up my scooter and they go, oh, that's why you can do all those scooter tricks. I'm like, no, maybe it's because I've been riding for seven years and I've uh, maybe practiced it a little bit. Clamp going on, slits already cut, which is great. Whoa. Mmm, snug. Alternate bolts so you don't mess up your clamp. Is this good? Are they straight? I think they are. Oh my gosh! It's a scooter! All right, that, I'm pretty sure that concludes the build. Let's do a drop test and see how it sounds. Follow me. Really hyped on how the uh, scooter turned out. Be sure to check this out on thevolparscooters.com or get it in person. <laughs> 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 be sure to check the scooter out, buy it, see how you like it, come to the shop. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Cody Flo, I'm right here on the screen, as well as my YouTube channel, which will be linked in the description. My sponsor's amazing, Lucky Scooters. Hit them up on the social medias, and of course the vaults links will be below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, get this video to uh, two likes. It'll be a good day. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.